Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to show you how to make tomato and basil chicken pasta, which is one of my favorite things to make, especially when I have fresh basil and tomatoes coming out of the garden, but they're pretty easy ingredients to find all the time. Uh, the best part about this recipe is that you can make it in under 30 minutes, which is really great for busy weeknights. You can make something really yummy and it doesn't take two hours to do it. Um, so before we get into the actual cooking, we got a cooking sponsor, which is really fun, unexpected, and something I never thought we would have, but we are working with Anilon to make this video. You might remember back in June, we were working at a service project at Project Dove, which is a local shelter for victims of domestic abuse. Anilon heard about what we were doing, and they sent out a bunch of stuff cookware, bakeware, um, knife sets, uh, cutting boards, all kinds of things just to bless the people at the shelter. Uh, and they didn't ask for anything in exchange. Like there was no exchange made. They didn't ask for us to mention them, nothing. So my respect level went way up. Little did I know that months later we would be working with them on a few projects. And so it's really exciting for me. Um, so today in this recipe, I'm using an 11 inch grill pan. And this is a covered Dutch oven, eight and a half quart in the color Moonstone that has this steamer insert. Um, so if any of you guys are in the market for any cookware or bakeware, um, you can find these at stores like Macy's and Bed Bath & Beyond. But if you want to see their whole line, you can go to Anilon.com and you can find things like this. This is a beautiful little salt well, little uh, white and gray marble, and I think it's just so pretty. And we are doing a giveaway as well. So not only do I get a cookware set, but one of you guys gets an 11 piece advanced home collection cookware set from Anilon. Um, so stick around to the end of this video and we'll give you all the details about that. All right, so I'm gonna try to be as organized as possible. I've already put hot water in this Dutch oven, but we need to get it boiling. So I'm gonna move it onto this burner, turn it on high, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and while this is coming to a boil, we'll start the chicken. So the chicken is really easy. I have my grill pan set on the burner. I'm gonna turn it to medium high and I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken in the pan and I'm using just a little bit over one pound um, for this recipe. And I'm gonna season both sides with salt and pepper. And typically, uh, depending on the thickness of your chicken pieces, it takes between like four and six minutes of cooking on each side of the chicken. So we'll go ahead and grab the salt and we'll do each side. And I'll do this again when I flip the chicken. And then I've got a little bit of pepper as well. I think garlic powder would be pretty good on these as well, but I've not tried that yet. Okay, I'm gonna reorganize a little bit. And while these things are working away, I'm going to make our pesto. Um, so for that, and I have my recipe set in front of me because I can't remember all the ingredient amounts ever. I've got um, walnuts, chopped walnuts, some basil, lemon juice, olive oil, and garlic, which I need to go grab. I had a great harvest of garlic this year and I keep it out in the barn, so I had to run out there and grab it. But I'm gonna check on my chicken really quickly. Yeah, we wanna have nice grill marks on them. So I'm gonna make sure to leave them on for long enough. Not quite ready yet. So the first thing I need to do for this pesto is prep my basil and I need one and a half cups of that. So I've got my measuring cup here. So I'm just gonna work on stripping the leaves off of the stems and filling up to the one and a half cup mark. It smells so good. Check on my chicken again. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna go ahead and flip my chicken, getting some really nice color. Okay, so the basil goes in my little mini food processor here, and then we're gonna add in a half cup of chopped walnuts. And I'm just gonna finely process this until it all looks finely chopped. Our water is boiling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. This is a bow tie pasta, and you just wanna follow the directions on the package. This one you cook for 11 minutes for al dente, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey Siri, set a timer for 11 minutes. Okay, your timer is set for 11 minutes. So now I need a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. That looks good. So I added my Parmesan cheese to the food processor and now I need three cloves of garlic. And we'll add these into the food processor and then I need one tablespoon of lemon juice, which I'm just gonna squeeze in roughly one tablespoon. It's perfect, except for the seed. These are taking a little bit longer than normal because I do have some pretty thick pieces. I wanna make sure it's cooked all the way. And the last thing we need to add is a third cup of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna process this whole thing and make a really nice creamy pesto. 
Okay, the chicken is done, so I'm gonna remove it and put it on a plate, cover it with some foil, and let it rest for a few minutes while we just finish up the last minute details. So now I'm gonna clear off my cutting board here and we're gonna cut up some tomatoes and some fresh mozzarella. Before we do that, my timer did just go off for the noodles, so we're gonna go ahead and take these off and strain them. So I'm gonna take them over to the sink. Okay, I'm gonna let those drain for just a minute and we're gonna pour this water out. We don't need this. Oh, that looks good. Even without anything on it, it looks good. We're gonna just add these back to the pot and take it back over to the stove top. All right, back to the tomatoes and basil. I've got a 10 ounce container of cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna empty out into this colander for this strainer and I'm gonna wash them real quick. And now I'm just gonna have them and we're gonna use all of these tomatoes. So now I'm just gonna add these tomatoes right to our pasta. And now I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing with these bite-sized mozzarella pieces. I'm gonna use the same strainer and then we're gonna cut them in half. And this is an eight ounce container of mozzarella. Like as far as I'm concerned, you could use two containers if you wanted to. I love these, this type of mozzarella. And we'll add the mozzarella to the pot. Okay, so we're almost done. I need to add my pesto to the pot which I'm just gonna use a spatula to do that, and then we can start plating. That looks so good, and you guys, it smells amazing. That garlic and basil, mm, I can't wait to eat it. I just stir it until it's thoroughly combined. You want pesto to kind of be on all the pieces of pasta. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the chicken in just nice bite-sized pieces. Oh geez, I picked the squirreliest one <laughs> to start with. Okay, hopefully the second piece goes a little bit better. Yeah, that's much better. You kind of want to keep it if you can. Keep them together instead of like, this is great for chicken salad later. <laughs> and this is great to put on top of the pasta. All right, so I'm gonna move this over so it's a little bit easier to reach. I'm gonna grab my bowl and my spoon. And to plate it, we just put a couple of Nice big spoonfuls in our pasta bowl, and then we'll top it with chicken. And if you wanna be extra fancy, you can put a nice little sprig of basil on it. Isn't that so pretty? I just love the colors. I just think it's a beautiful thing to present at your dinner table. Now, I didn't add any salt or pepper to this because I tend to like to let whoever's eating it do their own salting and peppering. Um, and I added walnuts to my pesto instead of pine nuts. So if you aren't a fan of walnuts, because you do get a little bit of that flavor in this pesto, then you can certainly add pine nuts and it would be wonderful. So I'm gonna give this a try. Mm-hmm, this is tasty. So I'm gonna actually finish dishing this up. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. So for the giveaway, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to Analon's Instagram page, give them a like, and then comment right below this video. Uh, and then we will announce the winners later on and all the details for the giveaway are down in the description below. Um, so you can check that out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.